Alrighty, so we have a pretty interesting video today. Um, I really didn't want to make this video for a really long time. I was waiting for the next stockholders call to even touch on the subject. There's been a rumor swirling around the coaster community and that's not uncommon. Um, so this rumor is touching on the fact of California's Great America's hyper coaster in 2020 being canceled. Now, a lot of people think this rumor came from us and uh, I'm here to tell you it definitely didn't because I'm all about business numbers and the stockholders calls. Anytime I make a prediction or an analysis of another park that isn't Canada's Wonderland, it's usually because of information I'm um, receiving or learning from a stockholders call or a business report coming out of Cedar Fair. Now, I want to let you guys know there is zero evidence to a California's Great America hypercoaster being canceled. In fact, there is so much evidence on this screen in front of you suggesting otherwise. I'm here to tell you that a business isn't going to invest this much money on this massive of an expansion plan without testing the waters before. So as we see, there are many attractions and many developments planned for California's Great America and a hypercoaster is one of them. Now canceling the uh, expansion plan and the hypercoaster would just not be logical. Now for those of you that really do think that California's Great America didn't do well in 2018 and that's why the whole plan is cancelled, I'm here to tell you that just isn't the case. Cedar Fair knows that they have off years. In fact, all of their parks practically, other than Valley Fair and Knott's Berry Farm, had really bad years to start this year. So they're not going to, for example, cancel an entire plan at California's Great America because they had a bad year just like Canada's Wonderland did as well. And Canada's Wonderland has quite the expansion plan going on as well. And that's not canceled either. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's not delayed. The key word is delayed. So whenever you see something delayed, again, I'm emphasizing delayed because the coaster community has jumped right onto the canceled bandwagon. Um, it could be for one year, two year, three years, just like we saw at Canada's Wonderland, you know, their dive coaster got delayed for just a little bit, got or a couple years, and then it was built. So California's Great America may have their coaster delayed, even though I'm not seeing any evidence of that yet either. So don't think I'm sitting here saying it's delayed quite yet. But what might be going on, and again, I'm going to wait for the stockholders call, and I think the stockholders call is next month, I think October. Um, I'm going to wait for that because um, they're gonna provide some information on how the parks did, if there's any change of plans for uh, expansion plans. They always list their expansion parks now, what parks did really well, which parks are gonna see the investments. I will say um, I am gonna make a video very shortly. I think that's gonna come out tomorrow. Some interesting information has come out on the uh, stockholders email about an announcement at Canada's Wonderland for a hotel. And there's some very interesting wording in that email. Um, so th that's very exciting for Canada's Wonderland. It looks like they are now back up on the expansion plan list and there's a lot coming to them, but I'll touch on that in another video. But I most certainly have not seen any evidence of a California's Great America hyper coaster cancellation nor any of their expansion plans. As you saw on the screen throughout this video, the plans for this park are exceptional. They're large. Um, they're not something that can be easily canceled. A lot of these things were planned way in advance and they can't be canceled just like that. So I definitely do want to say that the cancellation rumors are a giant fail. The hyper coaster and the expansion plans at California's Great America are most certainly not canceled. They would have had to make a stockholders announcement on that by now, or at least at the stockholders call coming up. That is why I really didn't want to make this video, but I had to make it because I saw um, people talking about this. This rumor is getting out there. YouTube channels are commenting on it as well. And I wanted to provide you with my two cents. I know my channel hasn't always been with the Giga Dive Coaster accurate, but we've always been very close. And when it comes to other parks at Cedar Fair, I like to keep my information to actual facts in terms of what they're saying on stockholders calls, what are they saying at business analysis, and what other companies are saying about Cedar Fair in terms of investments and capital. Um, now, again, I just want to stress, don't panic. If you if your home park is California's Great America, don't panic. There is no evidence of a hyper coaster being canceled yet. There's zero evidence of the expansion plans being canceled yet. Yes, they had a bad year, but so did all the Cedar Fair parks at the beginning of the year. Don't panic. Um, stay tuned for October. I'm sure there'll be more information to come. Hopefully this video calmed you down. Um, hopefully you liked the video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.